The Locomotive Story, Season 1, Episode 7, Nights of Terror, Part 2. Everyone was enjoying Halloween. There were princesses and bananas, little devils and little penguins. And everyone was having fun on this Halloween night. Everyone loved to laugh and show off their costumes in this Halloween party. One was even a mariachi player. He learned the guitar specifically for that costume. But there was one peculiar boy standing by himself. No one noticed him. No one even knew he was there. I wonder why. Steven the Rocket was taking a flatbed to the oil depot. Huh, finally, I finished my job. Time to go back to the castle. Wait, I heard something. Who's there? I know you're there somewhere. Come out. Ah! <laughs> Steven was so shocked, he shunted forward, crashed into the flatbed, and flew into the air like a rocket. Oh, no! Ow! I can't believe I fell off the tracks! I, I don't know where they are! Stop asking me! Go away! I told you to go away! I don't know anything! Yes, you do! Now, now tell, tell me before, before I, send I send you to the scrapyard. I don't know. Stop asking me. Be quiet and tell me now. I know, I know one, one of you little engines, engines will know. Tell me now. Monsters were terrorizing all over the island. Whoa. I could hear something in the bushes. B-R-A-I-N. What does that spell? Brain. Where are you all coming from? <laughs> I need to get out of here as fast as I can. Why don't you come play with us? Get away from me! Finally! Last midnight train done. Time to go back home. It's very dark out. I can't see anything. Oh no, a flatbed! Arr. Who put this here? Boston. My buffers. Ow! That made my funnel hurt. What? What are you? You don't scare me. Bring it on. It's so dark. I'm almost finished with delivering this load. Stay awake, stay awake, I'm so tired. Huh? Freeze! <laughs> now try to stop. I bet you can't. Oh, my brakes broke. My sandboxes are empty. I can't stop. Ah, I have to get away as quickly as I can. On the other side of the island, the Ice Queen stirred up a blizzard. The wind was high and snow billowed in the air. Making it snow to scare everyone is very fun. <laughs> Once they know that I have the, the power and the wrath to do all this, they will all bow down to me. I will destroy this city slowly with this snowstorm.
Everything was getting so frosted over that it was all falling apart. The wind grew so high that it acted like the air from a jet engine. Suddenly, bang, crash, wallop went the roof of the building. Even the pizzeria wasn't safe. The door broke off as snow flew inside of it. <laughs> this this won't make them crazy. crazy. I don't, I don't know, know what, what will. will. All the monsters were being unleashed and running around all over the island. The Ice Queen finally stopped the storm. Everything was breaking apart. She destroyed the city in the least of her power. Who knows what she could do next? It was very quiet, at least. Only because everyone fled from the city. It's a plane! It's heading towards us! The plane rocketed towards the station. It crashed into the overhang. It slid onto the tracks and the wing missed two passengers. Everyone in the station was shocked. Debris laid everywhere and smoke billowed in the air from the plane. Everyone was so scared that they ran away from the station one by one. Luckily, everyone left as smoke started to billow from the plane again. Uh, my arm hurts a lot. Whoa! Uh. Not today, plane. That almost hit me. Hey, over here! I've been waiting for you to arrive. Well, it took a long time since it was really windy up there. Well, I crash landed here. We need to pick up the plane later. Well, come on and hang on tight. And they flew off to find the other monster home. I'll show them all. They, they can't, can't stop, stop me. me. Never! Never.